Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to SevTech Ages. In the last episode, we were working on a bunch of things. Um, we were trying to get through uh, a little bit of astral sorcery, and basically got to the point where we now need an Ender Pearl, which is why I am out here uh, in the middle of night searching for Endermen. Um, now, I am well aware we could go to the hunting dimension and do things uh, there, but uh, I've kind of decided, yeah, we're going to try not to go to the hunting dimension too much, um, just because it's kind of awful. Um, it's not a place that I want to take lately, and I really don't think that we're we're equipped well enough to deal with it, um, but we'll see. Uh, if we can't find anything this night, then we will, uh, we'll definitely consider that. But I have some other things planned for today. Uh, one of the big things that I want to start working towards is, well, uh, we need to have a little bit more infrastructure back at the base. Um, so we're going to set up some stuff. Uh, I've already kind of started taking down different things. We just had the double eat glitch. Haven't got that in a while. Um, we're going to start setting up some things. Uh, I want to set up some farming. I want to set up the uh, Better With Mods, I think is what it's called. It used to be called Better With Wolves, I think. Um, but it's Better With Mods, so like the the water wheel and the, the millstone and all that kind of fun stuff. We're, we'll get that stuff set up. Um, I've been working on getting another building set up for... Uh, I, I kind of changed my mind. Originally, we were going to have like a kitchen area in our main uh, little house. Uh, I think we're not, unless there is, um, for all I know, there's cooking with blockheads or something like that, which could be a fun mod to uh, set up a kitchen for. But uh, we'll probably do more like, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just kind of leave that area kind of blank for now. We'll decide what we want to do with that later. Um, but uh, I want to set up an actual dedicated uh, building for like the smeltery and anything that's fire based so like uh, oh the grill or the the kilns or and stuff like that um, whatever we can we can manage basically um, so hopefully we can get some I really just need uh, I've only seen like one enderman so far so uh, we might actually have to go to the hunting dimension I really don't want to uh, just because it's, like I said, it's kind of nasty. Um, mob spawn, it's always dark there. Uh, mob spawn rates are, I think, a little higher. Um, I could be wrong on that part. But, uh, you, it's, it's kind of like a nether portal where you kind of need to, uh, protect it a little bit. And that can be, uh, annoying. Especially since torches are such a pain to make. Um, but... We'll kind of explore a little bit. It's what? About midnight? Um, okay, we'll kill the spider. Killing some of these guys isn't going to be too much of a problem anyways. Um, now eventually if we want to set up like a mob farm or something, um, the hunting dimension is perfect for that. Uh, you can do some really cool stuff where you change the biomes and, and whatnot uh, of the area. But uh, a lot of this stuff I've never really messed with, so uh, it could be interesting to do, it could be not, I don't know. Um, but for now, if I can avoid it, I want to. Um, but yeah, so today, kind of the plan, it, it really depends on if we can get an Ender Pearl or not. Uh, I decided to go ahead and start recording just because uh, I was pretty much ready to begin, uh, and it was turning night, so it was like, why not, let's... Let's go ahead and bring you guys in for the hunting. Um, there's also a lot of zombies carrying armor and swords. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of iron armor now um, through zombies. Uh, I haven't made any any other way. So, uh, yeah, the, the zombies are quite useful in that sense. But, oh man, this is... Really annoying. And the reason I'm... Ooh, there's gold here. I probably have that marked. Hopefully I do. 
Uh, the reason I'm kind of hanging out in this biome is just because it's the easiest to see. Um, and Endermen are more likely to spawn in like plains and deserts and stuff like that. Uh, just because there's nothing preventing them from spawning. Uh, no smaller areas or anything like that. Uh, but the problem is like we're going to have uh, a lot of creepers and spiders that I can't easily see. Uh, it's... It's amazing how well the creepers do blend in with the grass and all, all of the tall grass makes it hard to see the spiders. Um, plus there's a lot of horses around which are uh, a lot of black horses around which makes me think that there's an enderman. Uh, like that over there is a horse not an enderman. Ow. Um, but I did get some cool stuff which uh, I will show you guys in a little bit once uh, we head back over to the new base area, um, but yeah, like a lot of where we're at right now in this mod pack is um, there. There's still plenty for us to do. Um, we need to we need to start really heavily working on base development and infrastructure and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm pretty bad about procrastinating on that and putting it off. Uh, it's not that I don't like base construction, I just, I'd rather just go do crafting and get new stuff and spider was stuck for a second. Uh oh, we're hungry. Uh, let's get into the water. Uh, but yeah, so like, there, there's a bunch of different things, um, that we can do. In addition to like, uh, we, we still need to go fight the totemic boss. Uh, so we can officially unlock ranged uh, weapons and looks like we're gonna have daytime so uh, let's finish eating some carrots no mr. pig they're my my carrots um, and you know we, we can fight the there's an enderman that is an actual enderman come on we need to kill him uh, if we can get an ender pearl then we can start getting into astral sorcery um, which is the progression and did he drop it? I don't think he did. Ah, uh, that's so frustrating. Um, typically Endermen spawn in twos though, so I don't see any others. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chalk this up to a failure, but we did see another Enderman finally. Um, we just need to get out of here and go back up to our base. Um, and hopefully not have any creepers or anything blow us up or cause more damage. That's why I'm also going in that area. I don't really care what happens over there. Um, that's why I'm not staying around this area. Plus I've lit it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we we have plenty of things that we can do. And so we're going to start working on that stuff. And then at night we will go and uh, see if we can't find some intermittent or anything like that. So um, one big thing I should mention um we need a new pick uh that would be something really nice to have now we do have access to tinker's tools uh we could make a tinker's iron pick if we so chose um and that might not actually be a bad idea because currently we have uh we're using an octane pick which is a pretty good pick i mean it's diamond level uh which would be the same for an iron pick uh but the the nice thing about it is like we can make a tinker's pick and we can repair that a little bit easier um at least than the octane pick so um i mentioned that uh don't i have there's five blocks of iron here all right well let's uh start getting some iron out of there uh so one thing i mentioned be while we were hunting is that I had some special things. I killed some trumpet skeletons and now we have trumpets um, which is kinda cool uh, but yeah so we can easily probably start making like iron picks and stuff like that uh, let's, see, let's put the trumpets in here and I've been honestly I've been just putting things wherever they fit uh, and and calling it a day to be honest um but yeah so today we're gonna we're gonna focus on a couple of things um some stuff that we have been able to do for a while 
um, that for whatever reason I I just haven't. Um, so we are gonna start growing crops. Um, we're gonna make a nice little bit of a farm. Um, and let's see, I want some carrots and potatoes and some hemp seeds and uh, whatever else we can find. There's more sugar cane, um, seeds, beetroots, sure, why not? Um, rice seeds, since we can plant them, coffee seeds, uh, I don't really honestly care. Um, can we turn, nope, we cannot turn that into barley seeds. Um, I don't know what rush seeds are used for. Um, I'm not entirely sure what rush is, I think. That's horsetail. Uh, any other seeds that I can find. Uh, but basically, something we've had access to for, uh, honestly quite a little bit is, ooh, canola. Uh, we want that as well. Uh, but we've, we've had access to a couple of things for quite a while now. Um, specifically the... Uh, the stone hoe making making uh, farmland uh, so we're gonna want to probably start a farm um, and we're gonna we're gonna double purpose things so um, we're gonna make a farm um, but then we're also going to use the excess water um, because water is kind of a pain to deal with um, not being able to make like uh, infinite water sources or anything like that um, we're gonna go ahead and set up a um, our water wheel and all that kind of stuff as well. So uh, I thought I brought all that stuff up here. I probably did and put it into a random chest. So there's the millstone, uh, some gearboxes, the saw. So yes, that's exactly what I did. I put it into random chest. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Um, so yeah, you'll, we'll have to find everything, but anyways, um, let's get on with what we want to do, and that is, um, we're going to want three iron, um, we're going to make an iron pick, because we have a, again, we have a bronze pick somewhere around here, uh, I'm also kind of looking for the, the wheel, the water wheel, um, but yeah, so we have like our cauldron, um, we have some armor lying around, we have our bronze pick, um, we're gonna make a tinker's pick because I think that'll be the easiest thing to do, uh, and that'll actually be fairly nice to have, uh, let's see, we're gonna need gearboxes, wooden axle, saws, and then finally millstone, and we could always get the turntable later. Uh, so, don't jump in there. Alright, so, um, let's start over here. So, this is going to be the area, right up on this hilltop. Um, this is going to be the area for our smeltery and all that kind of stuff. We'll have a door probably right in here. Um, have a bunch of different fire things, so the grill, the, the kiln, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this will probably change into... Um, just kind of a workshop for metals and whatnot. Um, mostly just processing metals into ores. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be enough for there. Um, I might change the shape of it a little bit, but uh, this is where the smeltery will go. Uh, and I think that'll be nice. Uh, I don't know what we're going to make it out of or anything like that. Um, but then we have the bridge over here, which eventually I will make the bridge. Um, but we'll probably put most of our technology stuff over there. Um, we'll see. Ooh, that could be cool. Um, we can always use immersive engineering, um, power lines and string power across as well. That could be really cool looking. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be like the smeltery area and just kind of metalworking for now. Um, once we start getting into technology, uh, we'll, we'll kind of expand other places. Um, I don't want to separate the base completely. Um, but there's some things I kind of want to put together and some things I kind of want to be separate. Uh, this is going to be just kind of the house. 
uh, and eventually we might move most of our inventory across um, for like uh, all the technology stuff or, or we'll just do like astral sorcery over there or something like that I don't know we'll figure it up as we go astral does take a lot of room so it might be smart to uh, maybe do astral sorcery over there and then have like um, a lot of our technology stuff here uh, we'll, we'll kind of see and play it by ear as we go along. Uh, this base is going to be very organically built. So um, if you don't know what that means, basically we're going we're gonna to build it as we go. But um, the thing that I want to work on today and the kind of more important thing is we have... Um, I went ahead and put some water right up here. And I thought what would be cool is let's just have a bunch of farmland um, just kind of along this hill. And what we can fairly easily do is, uh, huh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, something like this. And just make sure that there's plenty of, uh, just kind of, do something like this, put plenty of water and we have this nice little stream um, that we can use to um, put the water wheel basically right down here and we get farming and uh, better with mods with just one water source uh, which makes it nice because we can't make infinite water sources uh, or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get these guys cooking up. We're also going to need a little bit of gold to cook up, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so we have our water bucket. Um, okay. So I think what I want to do, I want to go ahead and put the sword away. Uh, we'll keep a little bit of dirt on us. Uh, and we're going to need some gold. We're going to need two gold. Uh, we could also just use the gold clusters because why not? Uh, and just go ahead and put those in there. So we'll get, um, I hope that iron and gold don't mix. Modularium, hmm, it's interesting stuff. Anyways, uh, we have that, the gold, um, because I don't believe... No, we do not have a cast for a pickaxe. So we'll come here. Um, we don't have a pattern for it either, so we'll stencil up a pickaxe head. And we'll just make one out of stone. Uh, we'll use this to cast it out. And then, all right, we need to move this. Um, actually, you know what? Let's move it right here. Um, so now that we have a pickaxe, we can go ahead and do that and get a pickaxe, pickaxe head. All right, so we have our water. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. And it's getting night. Um, let's go hunting again. Uh, oh, hey, that's not as many. It's only two ingots. What am I thinking? Why, why did I put three? Uh, anyways, let's, um, let's just go ahead and sleep. Uh, we'll go hunting another night. Um, <laughs> too much stuff in my inventory and not enough time to deal with it. So we can go ahead and take this out. Grab this, get that ingot back. Um, we could have also made it into a plate, but meh. Uh, all right, so we can put this stuff away. And we'll make a pickaxe here in a moment, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start setting up the farms. So basically what I wanna do, and this is gonna be very messy, um, we're going to put 
uh, just a variety of things. Um, we can actually go ahead and probably put a bunch of dirt down up here and just kind of smooth out this terrain a little bit. Um, we have potatoes, we have carrots, um, we have wheat, all this stuff up here. Um, but with being in the tier that we currently are in, the age rather, um, we can we can use our stone hoe to make farmland. Um, this is something we weren't able to do earlier. Uh, so what I want to do, hey, we got some chili pepper seeds. Uh, we might go ahead and grow some of that stuff as well. Um, but up here, uh, I think let's do cotton. Um, and the reason being is uh, this is stuff we're probably never going to come up and get. Uh, so let's also do, let's do half cotton. Um, let's do a chili pepper. We can't grow that like that. All right, I don't know how to grow that. Um, and hemp. Um, we're going to need more hemp later, but for right now, uh, we'll just do that. And then um, we can get a few more a few more stacks of things. Uh, let's plant some carrots up here. And this should all be hydrated just fine. Uh, we can also get some sugar cane into this. Um, I want to break down this tree. Uh, and just kind of kind of do all this kind of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and come down here for a second and we'll put the saw. Um, we're just gonna place these millstone and the cauldron. Um, we're just gonna place them for right now so that we have a little bit more inventory space. Uh, and then we could also just grab a little bit like this and let's grow some potatoes here um, so we have carrots and potatoes we need to break some more stuff uh, and let's get these two tiers will be uh, seeds we'll get some wheat in here and we'll need to be careful not to like stomp on things and then, let's see, we have one. Two, let's see, we could do a little bit more sugar cane. Um, this is really gonna be random uh, where I put stuff. Uh, let's grab some coffee and canola. What is that, corn? Uh, let's do some rice here and beetroot and then let's get some more carrots because I do eat a lot of carrots and we'll finish it off with some I wish we had some barley um, as strange as that is uh, let's get some more what do we want more seeds uh, more seeds on this side And maybe uh, we'll just finish it off with some sugar cane down here. And let's get rid of this tree as well. Um, but yeah, so basically we're just going to do kind of kind of basic step farming. Um, best way I can describe it. Come on, go away. Uh, and... Yeah, the uh, it, it's gonna be like messy looking. Uh, it's not intended to look nice and neat or anything like that. Um, we just want to get farming up and running. We want we want crops that we can kind of choose and pick and choose. And I might make this look a little bit better later. Uh, maybe put some decorations around it. Um, set up like a a little bit more of a perimeter. Um, but I kind of want it to look just just messy. Um, I really wish we could like grow these. I don't know how to grow these. Um, how about tomatoes? Can we plant those? No. Um, so anything else we find, we'll probably go ahead and and mess around with. Um, we'll see though. Uh, it just kind of depends on what we can manage. So 
Uh, let's clean up our inventory a little bit, by which I mean let's just dump everything we can out. Um, let's see, what do we want to eat? Let's eat another piece of wolf meat. Get some more wild berries. Um, our nutrition, by the way, is doing incredibly good. Grain is the only thing that's like even slightly bad. Um, oh, here's the water wheels. So, let's see, flowers can go in here. Just dump whatever we can off. Uh, let's put the hoe in here. And wheat in there for right now. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. And I will, I'll try to clean up stuff as I go. Um, I need a lot more iron. Um, probably need to go mine more iron. Um, but with an iron pickaxe, that would be useful. So, um, we need to get two more things. Um, we need some sort of tool rod, and we need some sort of binder. Um, now, I think what we're going to use for these is just... Uh, I mean, we could just use sticks. Uh, wooden. Uh, what would be a good binding material? We could use bone. I mean, that is an option. Um, we could use paper. We have a lot of bones. Let's go ahead and use bone. And then we can make a nice iron pickaxe. Uh, so it's going to have a good bit of durability. It's, it's about 300 durability, but the better thing is as long as we have a little bit of uh, iron here at the base uh, we can always repair it so it is getting close to being night let's go ahead and set up the water wheel and all this stuff I don't know why we have two I don't remember making two um, maybe it was a bug when it when I broke it but uh, let's see if we want to let's place it right here Is that no? Um, we might have to place down an axle and place it on that. I don't remember. Um, let's see, gearbox. Uh, that was not the way I expected it to turn, so we should be able to place this on here. There we go. Um, so yeah, evidently we have two now. Uh, I don't know why. We might use another one. Um, but this should work. And we can, like, you know, put a saw here. No, that's not going to work. Because um, this needs to be a different way. This is weird, really weird. Alright, so now will that work? Yes. Uh, and then if we want the, the millstone to work as well, we'll have to... We'll have to put uh, something underneath, all that kind of stuff. Um, and and whatnot. So uh, that'll allow that to work. Um, and then the cauldron, of course, we'll have to we'll have to set up. So that's fine for now. Um, we'll kind of make that look better later. Um, but as long as it works, that's kind of the important thing. I'm going to put this stuff in here. I don't know why we have two water wheels. Um, I swear I just broke it. That's, that's all I did. Uh, I didn't do anything weird or, or anything like that. So I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that, that's just the way it happens. So let's go hunting one more time. I know we didn't do too much today. Um, we haven't done too much today. But if we can get the Enderman dust... 
um, the ender pearl dust rather from the endermans um, that would be ideal if we can't we'll we'll kind of deal with it so um, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do hopefully uh, this is this is much more of a uh, adventuring type of episode but it's just uh, consider it my style I I really don't like to do too many jump cuts I because with stuff like this where there is the good possibility that I could die or something um, I think it's a little bit more fun to just kind of watch and it gives me an opportunity to kind of let you guys know what what I'm planning and how what, what I'm kind of considering for the series and whatnot uh, but uh, I know that these episodes can be a little bit boring. Um, consider it more of like a podcast as you guys watch me play the game than uh, anything else. But if we can get just an, a single Ender Pearl uh, at this point, it would be really nice. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, and killing zombies is honestly not a bad idea. He dropped his chest plate at least. Um... So iron chest plate is better than bronze. So we have almost full iron armor, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, so you know what? I want to see something. Let's grab our atlas. Uh, I don't want to like look at it because uh, I don't want a creeper to come up behind me and blow me up. Uh, but I want to see one. It looks like uh, we do have the gold marked. Uh, which is good. It's a bunch of creepers. We just want Enderman. That's all we want. Uh, I will say the Atlas is a little bit distracting up in the corner. Don't blow up. Good boy. Uh, so, one of the things we could do... Um, we could always go to a different... There's an Enderman. Uh, we can always go to a different biome. Yeah. I, I love the trumpet dudes. They don't actually... They'll, they'll do damage if they get close enough to, like, hit you. There you are. Um, zombie, please. Uh, Alright, we're underneath a tree. So we're pretty safe. Uh, come on, drop your ender pearls. Alright, well, at least we found an enderman. That, that is better than nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. That is a horse. I, I really despise the horses. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if it'd be better to like go to a different biome or something. Um, go adventuring to like a colder biome. Uh, or what, but uh, I, I know there's some other plains biomes. I know there's some bigger plains biomes that you could we could like uh, run around a little bit more in. But uh, I, I don't know. We just need to we just need to find more Enderman. Um, now the obvious answer, like I said, is the hunting dimension. And I, while I don't want to do that, there is some really cool tricks we could use. Um, Totemic is actually a really powerful mod, um, and one that I haven't really taken too much advantage of. Thank you, um, Trumpet Skeleton, for the, the boost. I love that the spiders are just freaking out. Um, that is so funny. Oh, creeper. Uh, so... Here, okay, the problem with the hunting dimension is if we go in there, there is the possibility that our portal could be broken. Uh, from creeper explosions uh, due to the fact that we go in there and we're going to be attacked pretty much instantly. Uh, there is no safety area. Um, we have to build that ourselves, um, which is fine. That's it's not that big of a deal, um, but there is the concern of getting into a death loop. Uh, there, there is the very real concern of getting into a death loop, and I don't want to do that. Um, however, we could set up uh totemic stuff uh specifically i believe it's pig totems question mark um which would actually give us the 
uh, we, we could set up different totems um, that would give us um, different effects. Um, specifically things like uh, fortune, which would be really nice, as well as um, strength, which would allow us to kill things obviously faster. So, I mean, that that is a definite possibility. Could be something that could be useful. Um, you know, let's go... Let's go ahead and go over here. Uh, there's some more stuff there. Uh, I really like this area, by the way. I, I, I haven't said that enough. I really like the area that we're kind of living in um, with the mineral trees. And though we're not supposed to know that yet, um, they're unfamiliar to us. Um, they're mineral trees from Integrated Dynamics. Uh, and like just the, the really big mountainous area. With all of the different, uh, with the big rivers, uh, it looks really neat. Uh, I like this terrain generation, um, and specifically just kind of where we're at in the world. Um, it's really nice. So, I hate the double eat glitch. Um, I think they fixed that. I don't know. I don't know if they've actually ever fixed that. Uh, it might be lag related, to be honest. Uh, and this this mod pack is barely running on my computer at times, especially when I'm recording. So, uh, yeah, the, I still don't know. I we need to get just a single ender pearl. If we get a single ender pearl, we can start advancing through astral sorcery, which I know leads to um, twilight dimension, which is going to be a lot of fun. I've never I've never done a low tier um, a, like a low tech tier. Uh, through Twilight Forest. Uh, I'm kind of in the party of everyone uh, who, who likes to kind of get, you know, jetpacks and that kind of stuff um, before going to the Twilight Dimension. Uh, though, to be fair, I haven't gone to the Twilight Dimension in, like, ever. Um, I don't remember the last mod pack where I actually did go actually adventure through it and do all the different quests and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's definitely been a while. But that's something I'm really looking forward to is uh, the more legitimate way to play through uh, Twilight Forest, which we're going to have to do. That is um, one of the last things I know about this mod pack um, is that we are going to need to go there to start getting into technology and specifically immersive engineering. Uh, so uh, I am aware of like the first few ages of this mod pack, but after that, I don't really know what's going to happen, uh, what to expect, what we're going to do, anything like that. Um, so it, it's going to be kind of blind at that point, but currently I like I know vaguely what we're doing, um, what we have to do, what unlocks what and whatnot, um, but we'll see. So any more Enderman or we just get the one for the night. I think we just got the one for the night. That's disappointing. Um, so I will tell you guys what. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, I'm going to find... I, I, I will try to sort through my inventory a little bit more. Um, apologies for that as well. Uh, man, I'm really bad about inventory management sometimes. As uh, like that, That's also something I need to work on. But to be fair, like I need to go get a bunch of iron uh, so we can make plenty of iron chests so that we can... Um, have good storage so that that's the other issue um, but I will go mine a bunch of iron uh, get a bunch of iron plates and whatnot and then um, yeah next time I think what we will do um, so yeah horses give us speed um, Pig gives us fortune, I think. Yeah, luck. Um, so more pigs. We'll get some totem poles. Um, we'll do that in the hunting dimension as well. And uh, I'll probably clean up the rest of the stuff that's down here. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sort the inventories. I'm going to get ready to go into the hunting dimension. 
and uh, next time that's what we'll do we'll we'll try to get our ender pearl basically as soon as possible unless I manage to get it um, at night while I'm working on all the other stuff and um, I will get probably the better mod stuff set up a little bit nicer uh, and yeah we'll go from there so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I know we didn't get too much progress but a little bit of infrastructure does, never hurts um, and yeah uh, next time we'll, we'll do more progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!